you guys we are back today with another review for another very popular movie that came out today we're gonna be talking about the Barbie movie so I just put on whatever pink that I have I don't really own a lot of pink and it's hot in here so please hit the subscribe button and like because I'm wearing this for you guys honestly I give the movie a 9 out of 10 which honestly shocked me because I am a harsh critic I really don't give movies that high of a rating is it the same 9 out of 10 relative to to Interstellar that's like a 10 out of 10. No, it's each of their own. There's a reason I'm giving Barbie 9 out of 10 for what it provided based off my own expectations because it, it exceeded my expectations. And before we get into it, there may be a few spoilers here. So if you don't really want to know what the movie is about in general, just click off, but don't forget to hit subscribe. And let's just get into why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10, like a 9 out of 10. I was considering an 8.5, but in general, it was just a good movie. And worth a watch if you want to watch something new. Personally, I thought Barbie was just going to be about Barbie land, but I thought they were just going to make an imaginative plot within Barbie land and just have fun with Barbie and Ken and all her Barbie homies. Well, that just wasn't the case. Greta Gerwig, the director of this movie, truly took this movie and made it something deeper than most people expected it to be. She took to the image of Barbie and really portrayed women empowerment, patriarchy, and the political agenda that we live in today and honestly her take with the movie shocked me because she took a movie about plastic dolls and put a sense of realism into it and it was beyond plastic and toys they were also teaching people hey life is not about being perfect when Barbie was released everyone was like oh I want to be the perfect girl but hey you know what sometimes we ain't perfect I am not per me I ain't perfect I honestly am wearing shorts right now so at one point they pitched the idea about making an ordinary Barbie about how we're we're depressed sometimes and we scroll on TikTok sometimes and we don't look the best all the time. And I'm like, where's that Barbie at? I would buy that Barbie. So Barbie's trying to find her purpose. I'm trying to find out my purpose. So me at one point, me and Barbie, we'd be relating. First of all, let's just talk about the general gist of the, and how the movie looks. They did a really great job with the costumes, with the set. I didn't feel anything was really left out. I really felt every time we were watching a scene in Barbie land, like everything's cutesy and fake and when they're drinking water or whatever water is really not coming out and that kind of at first caught me off guard but then I was like oh yeah they're toys so I really liked that part they also showed all these different versions of Barbie dolls that were released throughout the years so we do get to see a nice history of the Barbie lineup and how Barbie was created and just those elements of the movie in general with the colors and the looks and the wardrobe and and just the scenes itself nothing was too rushed and I really liked it the movie had a really beautiful flow so in in general the flow of all of that was a good 10 out of 10 for me second of all the script writing was pretty darn good as well we know what the plot is about it's not being super rushed I didn't find myself having a sense of annoyance however if you don't like musicals then that's where it scores a little less for me I've never been a fan of just like music scenes although I love the lyrical aspect to it and I love how the lyrics were telling a story personally and why the score just overall lands at a 9 out of 10 is because I like the approach that Greta took with the movie and what this movie actually delivered versus my expectations. And we all know Barbie is just a toy that we play with in real life. I honestly didn't expect them to actually take it that seriously in a movie. And the fact that they meshed the two worlds together was just such a creative aspect to me. It just blew me away because it was like everything the Barbies were experiencing all were linked to a subconscious real human. And this is where I was like, that makes sense. But I I didn't expect it. So this is why that gets this 10 out of 10 of this mesh of creativity. So here Barbie goes and she enters the real world and right off the bat, Barbie and Ken, they're getting all these weird looks, more so Barbie, because we are learning how in the real world, usually women are objectified and men tend to stare more often. And I know there are gonna be men who disagree and say, hey, not all men do this. I agree, but as a woman who grew up as a woman, I can say, yes, there are men, you usually when you're walking that just don't know how to stop staring or do harass women. And so right off the bat, Barbie's literally harassed and victimized like right as she enters the real world. And I think the movie was just trying to paint a picture as to how it is being a woman in the real world compared to Barbie.
Barbie who's always lived in this little perfect world in which they are not objectified and women are basically praised in that world. And then as Ken enters the real world, he discovers about the patriarchy, about how men are usually the dominant ones in our social society of here in America. And so Ken is fascinated by this because as you know, in Barbie land, Kens aren't really, don't really amount to anything. So Ken runs back to Barbie land and is like, I'm going to make a patriarchy and we are going to dominate these women. I just like the little touch because I mean, if toys were to innocently learn how the real world is, especially here in America, they would pick up on these things. And I just don't see anything wrong with shining light and awareness to our political agenda today or from the past. It is fine. I know things are changing. I just thought it was very creative to put it into a Barbie movie and maybe learn something from it, not argue about it. So basically, this is just what the movie was about and this is why it gets the 9 out of 10 just because all that I've said is really was not what I expected to come out of a movie about Barbie. So I just really liked the emotional aspect to the movie, the humorous aspect to the movie, the look of the movie, the songs of the movie, especially Billie Eilish's song that made me cry a million times and all the pink and there was so many amazing actors and actresses and it was just overall blew my expectations my review is just here to say go watch it let me know your opinions i enjoyed it maybe some of you will enjoy it. if you like this video hit the like button subscribe now i'm gonna go be ordinary barbie goodbye